Okay, so I wanted to go into more detail about my personal experience with shadow work. Not only for, not only for myself or that type of energy or negative things that have happened um, in history where people don't treat other people in the proper manner. They're doing evil things. They're doing demonic things. So one gift... I won't even call it a gift because it's it's not a good feeling when you experience these type of situations but is taking the fear when somebody goes through something horrific and they're about to pass away and you take their experience from them and you experience it and why I chose butterflies Part of the reason why I chose butterflies is that the butterfly, good or bad, is experiencing things and travels on a spiritual level very fast to the individual, but can turn a tragic situation and take that being to a place of peace and take that being to a place of love and take the fear so I'm gonna tell you some of the experiences I've had I've experienced in South America when they've had the floods um, and it's mainly a lot of times it's it's going and saving children in a lot of the experiences that I've had where the child has passed away so one of the experiences was a flood and the mother having a small child on her back, an infant, like maybe a toddler, and being swept down um, this river, this where there initially wasn't a river, but because of a monsoon season or whatever, the water torrential rains were coming down out of the mountains and swept this particular woman through the river with this small child on her back and experiencing that and that was one of my first conscious experiences where I understood what I was what I was dealing with because a week later that same woman with that same child I see him I see on TV being swept away with the same scenario but the vision was I saw it one week prior to it happening. They didn't make it. So I don't know if anybody's familiar with the butterfly effect or things like that. But anyways, I experienced it. Another experience I had was a woman with a little girl. And she was in a building. And the building got bombed. And the floors above her were were collapsing like pancakes one by one coming down. And I felt her fear and her pain. I felt there being, well, I saw light. And then I could feel the collapse of the building. And I could, ex I experienced complete darkness because that was when her conscious light went out when she passed away. But I personally experienced her death. Another one was a man who was, it was in New York, and in one of the bays was be below a bridge. I remember seeing the bridge. I've never been to New York, but in this vision, or dream it wasn't even a vision it was a dream but in the dream somebody had they were in a small like you know motor boat small motor boat but they had tied a heavy brick on this man's leg with a chain and threw him over this little boat to the deepest part of that bay to drown him and this man went down and he's trying to get le loose and he can't get loose and 
there's I know that people say that we're no shark there's no sharks in that area but in this this dream there were sharks and the sharks were were taking his arms apart I think that animals sense distress and when they attack you places like the water it's because you're not in peace you're not peacefully buoyant in the water and these animals understand the distress and they they pick you apart and they eat you but they were taking his limbs off and he had just enough air in his lungs to blurt out and he said in God's hands and he let his soul go I experienced his death another situation was a little girl and a little boy and they were put in foster care the parents were drug addicts and the grandmother who now I realize had passed away but she came to me in the dream and she asked me to take the two children to a safe place and they were toddlers again a week later it was found out that those two children came up missing later investigations found out that the foster parents murdered those two children and I'm saying all this to say that when it comes to dark shadows or shadow work there are people who are they are taking these experiences. These are empathic people in the world. They're taking these people's deaths and experiences and they're traveling those people's spirits back to the divine. And when you see people that are passionate about trying to change the world and they're passionate about trying to make people be aware of their shadow and be aware of their dark inner self because everybody has it I have it myself but to sit and deny that it's in you is when you become or when you can be part of the collective that causes that type of harm that I'm describing these are just a few stories that I'm telling but I have many 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 more that I've experienced I've experienced people's death I have taken them in their most fearful state because a, a, the spirit of the divine can't go back to the divine in a fearful state somebody has to go and take that consciousness from them they have to go and take that fear from them at their last breath so that they can be traveled back to the divine creator and the only reason, another reason why I'm telling you all this is because recently in my reading, and I've been getting signals to tell the truth about what I know, or at least some of the things that I know, and some of the things that I've experienced. Because I have, I've not really told people parts of the true me. I'm not the only one who has this ability or who was placed on this earth to do these type of things there are many 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 more and I talked about star seeds I've talked about beings that are coming they have missions they have different missions and they're coming to change the world some of their missions are to be that dark shadow working empath or that being that can take the subconscious, unconscious, or dream state and go and collect these people's these people when they're going through horrific things or children and experience them, control them, 
so that their spirit can be at peace when they go travel back. And I can get into the dark side of this world and I can get into the evil side of this world and I can get into all those things I don't really want to. I could, I, it, there's no point in doing that. But just know that this world, as it is at, at this very moment, knows that is, if they can make people be in fear, constant fear, then when those people pass away, and that's the one thing they wanna, they wanna do is when you are on the verge of death to make you fearful because they know or the dark entities that are in this earth right now knows that that being can't go back to the divine creator like that in that state. And they will have that soul locked down. Anyways, I just wanted to put this out here. <laughs>